Hello everyone and welcome back to another video review. So today I have some straps from a local strap brand called Strap Atelier. So Strap Atelier specializes in affordable straps uh, and they sent some over to me to review as you can see here. Most of their straps are very affordable below the, for all the straps that you see here, they're all you know, below the $40 mark and some are even below the $30 mark. So let's take a look at some of them. Okay, so the first strap that we have is their Curve Luck uh, Silicon Strap. So they mentioned that you know this uh curve lock strap is of course best for your especially your Seiko Dive Fortress, your SKX, whatever you know, curve lock straps. Uh, generally, what if you don't know what curve lock strap is, they're strap that engine that to fit. As you guys can see, the entire tail of the lock, so there isn't like a unsightly gap in between. So when you wear it, it wraps very nicely around your wrist. So they have the uh this is their signature curve lock strap. Um, it's not FKM rubber. Instead of made of it's made of silicon. I think it's, it's pretty comfortable on the wrist. It's very, it comes with a variety of colors, very soft, very premium uh, to a touch, very comfortable as well. And as you can, I don't really, I don't have a Seiko dive watch, so I actually pad it on my advisor diver here. And I think it actually fits quite well, you know, the lux actually uh, fits quite well. As you can see, there isn't like a gap in between. So I expect, you know, on the Seiko SKX, which is what it's engineered for, it'll be an even better fit. Let me just put this on the wrist and show you guys how it looks like. Alright, and this is how it looks like on the wrist. So as you can see, you know, there isn't a gap in between, so it's very, very nice. And I must say, you know, I really, really, really like, enjoy, you know, their curved lock strap. It's really, it really feels very comfortable uh, on the wrist. I find myself uh, wearing the strap, you know, when I'm playing tennis, when I'm jogging, uh, or when I'm, you know, in a pool. Very nice, very, it feels very premium as well. And of course, the color's great. It comes with a variety of colors. So yeah, if you're looking, you know, for a sleek curve lock straps for your dive watch, especially your Seiko SKX, you can, give, you can, you know, give this a, you know, a consideration. So yeah, if you, you know, looking for a curve lock strap, you can consider this. I think this is quite affordable as well, only $29 before the promo code. Um, very good silicon is used here. Okay, and now we move on to our ladder straps. So actually, the uh, Strap Atelier carries a wide variety of leather straps and in particular, you know, they even have bun straps. So you guys don't know this, what a bun strap is. Usually it's for vintage watches, your vintage chronograph, or your pilot watches. And I must say, I never, I actually never tried a bun strap before. So I paired it on my undone uh, vintage chronograph and I say, it really fits quite well. There's a lot of, as you can see, there's a lot of leather here. So usually bun straps are very expensive, but Strap Atelier again offers it in an affordable package. The leather quality that's used here is pretty good. Um, you can see it's full, it's full leather throughout, and it's very, it feels quite good, you know, to to the touch and quite comfortable on the wrist as well. Let me just put it on the wrist and show you guys how it looks like. All right, so this is actually how it, the bun strap look like on your wrist. So as you guys can see, let me do. Maybe I can do a slow wrist roll. There you go. No, you. It's a unique vibe, I would say. It's definitely a unique vibe. You know, it's for those that want a bit more wrist presence to their watches. So when I wear this, I'm, I somehow always feel like Nathan Drake from Uncharted. You know, it's like an explorer sort of, a uh, fighter pilot sort of vibe. I think what's convenient, and I think what's convenient about this is that, you know, if you don't want to use the bun strap, you can just simply remove this, uh, the bun portion here and it becomes, you know, like a re regular leather strap. So there's the added versatility as well, depending on whether you want to be a bit more striking or a bit more subtle. But yeah, I really like the bun strap. I think more people should wear the bun strap. I don't really see the bun strap a lot these days, but I think it's an aesthetic that you know should return. Just look at how nice it is, you know. I think Strap Atelier tells me it's one of their uh, best-selling products, you know, their most popular one. At the time of this video review, it's actually sold out on the website. So I can, I can see why, you know. It's really, it's, it's probably one of the most affordable bun strap in the market, local market at least, and I would say one of the most bang for buck. Yeah, really nice aesthetic if you want, you know, to jazz up your vintage watches. It will be a pizza, but without breaking the bank. Yeah. And alright, the next strap they sent me is this. So this is the embossed uh, leather strap. So it's pretty simple. It's like an embossed, crowdown texture. You know, strap material says it pairs best with a like, dress watch. And therefore, I paired it with my newly acquired uh, Frederick Constant here. Um, I'll say, I mean, it's, it's decent, I'll say it's decent. You guys can see the embossing playing with the light here. I'll say it's decent, but uh, not the best, I'll say. I, I had better embossed straps before. The texture, you know, is looks, a, I'll be honest here, the texture looks a bit cheap. 
the lining looks and feels a, a bit cheap as well. Uh, there's no quick release. Uh, it's not bad, it's not bad, but it just looks like a fairly uh, generic strap, you know, even, even the buckle is generic. It just looks like a fairly generic strap. So, not my not my favorite out of the five. Actually, I would say it's probably my least favorite out, out of the five straps that they sent me. So, I'm, let me just put this on anyway and give you guys a quick wrist shot. So, as you guys can see, like, it's, it doesn't look the greatest. I, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. It doesn't look the greatest. Uh, I, I, I mean, it's not bad. I, I, would, I would say it's not bad value for what I think it's only, you must keep in mind that it's only a $30 strap. But I think I have, I have used better at this price point from some of the other brands. So if you're looking for an embossed strap, um, I mean, you can still consider this, but this just won't be like my personal favorite. What I really did like though, is actually this. So this is their vintage grunge leather strap. And I really, really, really did enjoy this. For one, I think it's, as compared to the embossed strap, I think this is more unique. I actually have not seen, uh, let me see the camera capture the texture. I not seen uh like so it's almost sweet light but not quite like a there's like a sweet light texture to it that's you know gives it like a bit of a vintage uh look. They call it a grunge leather shape. I really do like it. I think it's quite I think it's quite a unique texture that is not uh seen commonly. I, I don't know of another local brand that carries this this sort of uh shape. I here I pet their moss green grunge shrap with my newly acquired Seiko Matcha, I think. You know, it, it pairs perfectly, I think. Look at that. Love the white uh, contrast stitching as well. It's a very, very, just a very nice strap. I think if you look at um, the lining here, it just looks and feels more premium as well. It even has quick release buckle uh, and stitch strap loops. Uh, and stitch strap loops, pardon my pronunciation. So yeah, very a very nice strap. Texture, handicraft. Uh, stitching it pairs perfectly with my Seiko Matcha. Let me just put this on my wrist and show you guys. So this is the vintage grunge strap in moss green from Strap Atelier paired with my Seiko Matcha. And I think, look at that, it, it looks wonderful on the wrist. It really pops, you know, on the wrist, especially with the vintage texture. I think it will pair very nicely with both vintage watches as well as like a modern watch that I have here. It really brings out the best, you know, in, in your watch. Yeah, really like it. It comes to quick release as well, so if you guys have been reading my reviews, you know that I'm a big fan of quick release. Uh, the quick release buckles that allows you to change straps like in an instant. So yeah, very, very, really like their uh, vintage grunge strap here. And it's not, it's not, it's not even uh, that expensive. It's only thirty nine dollars before the promo code. I definitely opt for this one over the embossed uh, crocodile strap. Now finally, the last strap that we have, they also sent over their nylon, their nylon strap. So they said they'll pair best, you know, with like a few military watch and therefore I paired it uh, with my Hamilton uh, Fuel Mechanical. Quality-wise, you know, it, it's good nylon. You can really, the like nylon you can feel is strong, uh, it's resilient. It's definitely going to be one durable strap. Comes with quick release strap loops as well, so that's pretty cool. That, it reminds me of like some of the nylon... Uh, straps that we see in the army actually you know in your ILBV on your helmet sort of like a similar uh shade of green of course but also a similar texture a similar in fact i won't be surprised if it's the exact same nylon that's used and of course that fully accentuates the military vibe that i think this strap is going for so yeah in terms of quality pretty nice uh i just have a few grievances with it so firstly uh i'm not a fan of like these two leather portions here I think it sort of breaks up the strap. Uh, I prefer it without these two black leather portions. I think the entire strap will look much nicer. Uh, to be honest, like I'm not quite sure why they chose to opt. Just ugly to me. I'm not quite sure why they chose to opt to have these two leather uh, options here. As well as the as of now, at least the buckle only comes in black, which I think is kind of odd. Given I'm I'm the sort of person that I always like to pair, you know, uh, the my case color with my buckle color. I would much prefer it to come in stainless steel so I have to, so as to match the stainless steel, you know, uh, case that I have on my Hamilton khaki feel. So I'm not quite sure why it's only available in black. I guess perhaps they want to make, of course, again, the black uh, accents, accents on this watch. I mean, on this strap, sorry. But just a miss for me as well. I wish it came in a stainless steel. Stainless steel buckle, I wish, you know, 
uh, they remove these two leather portions. I think it will look much better uh, as a whole. But overall, I think, you know, it is definitely still a very well-made strap. You know, these are genuine leather that is used here, not your PU leather. So it's still a well a well-made strap. Just aesthetically, it's just not my... I think it could be better. Let me just strap this on and show you guys how it looks like. Okay, uh, here we have, you know, the the nylon military strap from Shark Atelier. As, like I said, it, it feels pretty good, you know, the quality in terms of the material and the workmanship, definitely there. It's just like I'm, and I'm not a fan of, of you know, these two leather uh, portions. Yeah, I think it breaks up um, the strap. Yeah. But otherwise, you know, if you are looking for a nylon strap from military watch and you don't mind, like the black leather portions here, in fact, if you do like it actually, then consider this, I think you can you guys can see pairs very well with your military straps. Alright, so overall, I actually really enjoyed most of the straps on Shrek Atelier. If I had to pick, I'll definitely choose, you know, the curved and uh, silicon strap, the bun strap, as well as this vintage grunt strap. These three here will probably be my pick of the lot. Really bang for buck. If you're look interested in any of Shrek Atelier strap, you can use the promo code WASOSHOW for 10% off the entire collection. I really encourage you guys to look at some of their leather offerings with the bun strap and this vintage grunt strap, as well as the curved and silicon lux. I really enjoyed silicon strap. I really, the curved and silicon strap, yeah. I really enjoyed these three straps in particular. Alright, and that's it for me for today. See you guys in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, it really helps a lot. Alright, see you guys and ciao!